The Iron Man Mark I suit was the first powered armor created by Tony Stark. Built in a cave under life-threatening circumstances, it was constructed using limited resources while he was held captive by the Ten Rings terrorist group in Afghanistan. The suit's primary purpose was to help Stark escape captivity. It was made from salvaged missile parts and scrap metal, featuring a bulky, crude design. It was powered by a miniaturized arc reactor Stark, built to keep shrapnel from reaching his heart. The Mark I had basic flamethrowers, a rudimentary missile launcher, and enhanced physical strength. Its armor was thick and durable, but lacked advanced systems, mobility, and weaponry. After successfully using it to break free, the Mark I was destroyed during the escape, but the experience inspired Stark to refine and develop more sophisticated versions of the Iron Man suit. The Iron Man Mark II suit was the second iteration of Tony Stark's armor following the Mark I. It was the first fully functional prototype built using advanced materials and technologies. The suit featured a sleek silver design and was equipped with improved strength, speed, and flight capabilities. Unlike the Mark I, it had a more refined, streamlined structure and included a basic repulsor system for flight and energy attacks. The Mark II was powered by a new arc reactor, providing sufficient energy for its functions. However, it faced a major flaw. It would ice over at high altitudes, preventing its use in certain conditions. The Iron Man Mark III suit was Tony Stark's first fully refined combat-ready armor, designed to address icing issues at high altitudes and to improve durability and functionality. The suit was constructed using a gold-titanium alloy, making it more resilient to damage while remaining lightweight. It featured a red and gold color scheme, marking the iconic look of Iron Man. The Mark III was equipped with advanced repulsor technology for flight and weapons, including hand-mounted repulsor beams, a chest-mounted unibeam, and a shoulder-mounted missile launcher. It also had improved targeting systems and flares for defensive countermeasures. This version introduced more sophisticated articulation for enhanced mobility and agility. The suit's power source was the second arc reactor created by Stark. The Mark III played a critical role in defeating Obadiah Stane, who used a larger suit called the Ironmonger. Although highly advanced, the Mark III sustained extensive damage in battle, prompting Stark to design more advanced models in future iterations. The Iron Man Mark VI suit was an upgraded armor created by Tony Stark after discovering a new element to replace palladium in his arc reactor, solving his health deterioration problem. This suit retained the red and gold color scheme, but introduced a triangular chest plate design, marking a visual distinction from previous models. It featured enhanced strength, durability, and flight capabilities. The Mark VI was equipped with more advanced repulsors and an improved unibeam powered by the new reactor, making it more powerful and efficient. It also had upgraded targeting systems, enhanced weaponry, and advanced countermeasures for combat versatility. The suit played a key role during the battle against Ivan Vanko's drones and Whiplash at the Stark Expo. Although highly effective, damage sustained in combat led to further innovations in later versions. The Iron Man Mark 42 suit was a highly advanced armor designed for increased mobility and versatility. It was the first suit to feature a modular, self-assembling design, allowing individual pieces of the armor to fly directly to Tony Stark and attach to him. This was enabled by the use of a new technology called the Autonomous Flight System. The suit was powered by an upgraded arc reactor and had improved energy efficiency. It maintained a sleek, gold and red color color scheme and offered enhanced agility with repulsor beams, hand-mounted weaponry, and flight capabilities. While the 42 was advanced in terms of its flexibility and ease of use, it suffered from stability issues, particularly in its initial use, and had some difficulties in assembly. Despite these challenges, it played a significant role in the battle against Aldrich Killian and the extremist-powered soldiers. The Iron Man Mark 44 suit, also known as the Hulkbuster, was a heavy-duty armor designed specifically for battling the Hulk. It was significantly larger and more more powerful than other Iron Man suits, featuring reinforced armor plating for extreme durability. The suit was equipped with enhanced strength, specialized weapons like repulsors, and advanced targeting systems for controlling the combat environment. Its primary purpose was to subdue the Hulk if necessary, as seen in Avengers Age of Ultron. The 44 also included a modular design that allowed it to integrate with a smaller suit, enhancing its flexibility. Powered by a high-output arc reactor, it was one of the most robust suits in Tony Stark's arsenal, built for high-intensity combat combat and resilience against the Hulk's immense strength. The Iron Man Mark L suit, also known as the Mark 50, was a highly advanced armor featured in Avengers Infinity War. It was constructed using nanotechnology, which allowed it to form and adapt to various shapes and weapons on command. The suit had the ability to self-repair, offering increased durability and flexibility. The Mark L was significantly lighter and more versatile than previous suits, with advanced repulsors, lasers, and other weapons that could be generated and retracted from the nanotech. Its power 
source was the updated ARC reactor, providing a high output of energy. The suit also featured enhanced flight capabilities, advanced artificial intelligence integration, and the ability to adapt to combat situations. The Mark L played a crucial role in the fight against Thanos and his forces, proving to be one of the most advanced suits Stark had ever created. The Iron Man Mark 85 appeared in Avengers Endgame. It was a highly advanced version of the nanotech-based armor, combining features from previous suits with new enhancements. The suit was capable of forming and reshaping its components on command, allowing Tony Stark to adapt to various combat situations. It featured a variety of weapons, including energy-based attacks, repulsors, lasers, and bladed weapons, all generated through nanotechnology. The Mark 85 also had improved durability and strength, making it resistant to damage from Thanos and his forces. Its power source was a more advanced arc reactor, and the suit was equipped with a self-repairing system for recovery during battle. The Mark 85 played a vital role in the final battle against Thanos, marking the culmination of Stark's technological advancements.